closer to you. Broadcasting on 945 kilohertz AM, this is HRB, serving the maternity and general divisions of Basingstoke District Hospital. HRB. and Song Sung Blue. We're playing a lot of the favourites from 72 this evening because we're celebrating our 21st birthday on this Wednesday evening, the 28th of April 1993. Hospital Radio in Basingstoke started off uh, 21 years ago today when it was known as Chairman Mike's Mini Radio, known because it uh, was a very big radio station but broadcasting from a small venue uh, at what's commonly known now as a bit of a broom cupboard in the original hospital which is now the maternity wing of the hospital and then they built the, uh, the main hospital a couple of years later uh, things expanded uh, the network was laid down around the wards the channel one network and the uh, well. oh, yeah. I can't see any dancing going on over there, over on the party itself at the back of maternity. If you're listening in maternity, this record is great for giving birth to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be having a chat later on with the leader of our gang, Chairman Mike. Hopefully between now and nine o'clock, Gary Glitter. Okay, Mark Evans, um, I think it's your turn. Mark Evans, please listen to me. This one's going out for you. <laughs> He went off the air, so they yeah. couldn't, couldn't do without me. Yes, well, push off then, because... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 what, are you, what are you doing now? I'm, I'm working for a number of radio stations, um, primarily 7 Sound in Gloucester and Galaxy Radio in Bristol. Doing what? Well, doing all sorts of things, primarily engineering, but... I could... You're still there with the soldering iron after all these years, aren't they? I cover a wide number of sins. Uh, basically, picking computer keyboards these days. Is it? Yes. There's money in that, that, them there, keyboards. What's the got... soldering iron? What's the soldering iron? <laughs> We've got Graham saying, hello, Graham. Hello. Now, uh, you will have to say this now. You are an old member, aren't you? <laughs> old member. When did you first join? Uh, about 1977. So I was trying to work this out on the way. My wife over here had nothing to do with hospital radio. It told me when I started. It was about, <laughs> yeah, it was about 1975, I think, and I left in 1979. That's when they found out about me. Yes. But, uh, yeah, that was it then. That was it. Oh, and what are you doing now? Uh, You're still doing this, aren't you? I mean, yeah. not hospital right there, but... Well, well, yeah, well, yes, it's actually hospital right probably better, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, I'm working for... Probably better pay. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably is. Uh, I work for a BBC local radio station in Wiltshire, which covers Wiltshire, so it's, it's, it's called BBC Wiltshire Sound. And uh, I do some work for BBC Radio 5, and recently I've started doing some stuff for, for Radio 1 as well. So I'm kind of like getting about doing bits here and there, really. Here's the name Charlie. Have you got any particular members, either of you, of the days on Chairman Mike's Mini Radio that you can desperately dredge up on those? <laughs> and uh, remember, this is a family programme, first of all. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> we might as well go. <laughs> family, Steve. <laughs> 
I mean, what about the equipment, Simon? I mean, has it changed a bit since uh, you've been in the, in the studio these days? Well, I remember actually uh, building uh, a mixer uh, upstairs in his maternity block many moons ago. Still there, I think. <laughs> I think it's probably still there, yeah. <laughs> and basically, there's, there's a large hole in uh, an office desk which we cut, and there was me sitting with my head poking through it. <laughs> A couple of stories. The first of, of which was I was a, a bit like you, Simon. Actually, I, I was dabbling with electronics at the time, and I gave that up when I realised what what happened next. Because I had this great idea that it would be wonderful at Christmas to have fairy lights around the the door, so that when you turn the mic on, the fairy lights would come on, <laughs> and uh, it worked great until the ho hospital security was pulled in one morning and said, "We can't have this. The place is going to catch fire." <laughs> so that was that was the end of my engineering career. But I think the greatest time was uh, uh, we had a problem with the door uh, wouldn't close on the studio once uh, cause it, I know you've got that, that problem sorted out and I've noticed the bars as well I'll ask you about that <laughs> it's to keep the presenters in <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing was actually doing a program one morning and obviously um, somebody was having a delivery in, just up the road in, in maternity and all I kept hearing in the background at company Michael Jackson at the time was push, push, push <laughs> it's a shame it wasn't in synchronism otherwise it would have been even better but we had some great times really good fun times here it's, it's terrific do you think it gave you both a good family for what you're doing today? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. That's why we're here today. Yeah. Smash it. Now, a man who didn't stay in radio, but he's still here, and if it might be saying, larger than life. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was your stage name, sir? No, no, no comments. What was no your God. stage name? <laughs> Well, my, st my stage name, the name that you all gave me, yeah. Man, Man Mountain, I believe. <laughs> Man Mountain. Man Mountain, which I um, I think I lived up to manfully. I'm still actually growing in girth. I, I, well, I, I would like to say so. When were you a member? Can you remember? Uh, a few weeks before you were, so when were you a member? <laughs> <laughs> it was very, 83. very sneaky. Was it 83? About that time. It was about 1983. I can't um, have any witty stories uh, to... Uh, tell you, apart from after about three weeks of being on the air, I think I was so dreadful they took me off again. <laughs> and, uh, well, I remember you in the night. <laughs> uh, oh, tell us more, Simon. I seem to I was in a pub somewhere in Vanity's paper, I couldn't tell you where, and uh, Matthew turned up in the night, if I can remember correctly. Yes, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. I well, still do it occasionally. Was it your stack, right? <laughs> no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> anyway, listen, in the very best radio, I can, I can recognise an opt-out as well as a best man. David, back to you. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'd like to see Matthew in the night. Anyway, thank you very much for seeing Back into the music we go. I think it has seen it. Today, Hospital Radio Base in Stoke is 21 years old. Uh, it started with Chairman Mike 21 years ago. May I just take this opportunity of thanking everybody who's been involved, present and past, to the presenters and to their spouses, because I know sometimes they get uh, a bit of a rotten deal, to the hospital staff to whom we have to congratulate because without them we couldn't do it, but of course to the patients who support us by listening and asking for dedications. Chairman Mike, started at 21 years ago, is uh, with me this evening. Any particular thoughts? <laughs> 21 years old and still going. Yes, you see, yes. And I love the granddad music you're playing tonight. It's most suitable. It was the music of 21 years ago. Oh, you probably wouldn't recognise it. <laughs> I'd like to now uh, open a bottle of champagne for not only the 21 years that we've been broadcasting, but I hope for at least the next 21 years. Yay! Here's to Hospital Radio Basingstoke. <laughs> <laughs> So a record from the year 
Then I started Hospital Radio Basics though. In 1984. The Thompson Twins and Homie Now. Right, we cannot break an absolute tradition on a Wednesday night. So a little bit later than usual, but here all the same is this. And after this, a very big surprise. It's another Thomas Tank Engine story on. It's Manhattan Transfer from the album Pastiche. And this is on a little street in Singapore. Marks out of 10, please. Not bad. Not bad. No, 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 no. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Thank you very much. Oh, all right. This will be uh, the last link from maternity because it's getting fairly late. Uh, we've uh, said thank you very much for the last 21 years. Chairman Mike Sweeney, the founder of uh, CMMR and then uh, HRB, would just like a few words to thank everybody this evening. Indeed, Tony, I'd like to say thank you very much for inviting me and uh, it's been a wonderful evening. It's really been a super turn up, about 30 people. Uh, just say congratulations to everyone and good luck for the next 21 years. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> since you've been on the radio, on hospital radio. I wish you the best of luck for the next few minutes and uh, thank you very much from everybody over here well, at Maternity. Thank you very much and a happy birthday to Hospital Radio with Blazing Stoke and CMMR. Thank you for inviting me and everybody else. Our pleasure. Richard, you get to go into the next thing, yes? Um, well, because this was all very hurried. Right. Do you know something? I know something. Thank you very much for coming along. Well, we'd we'll certainly invite you back in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Closer to you. Broadcasting on 945 kilohertz AM, this is HRB, serving the maternity and general divisions of Basingstoke District Hospital. HRB!